Just be on the cusp, you know, and everybody will get you know, a bit of forgotten. Then. No, you can come in tomorrow. That's what Matt Hancock said. Why didn't you show it to him? You should be quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said it again the other day, though. So <coughs> You had a doctor there. We had a doctor like that. Good right. You were still giving me test results on the end of the room. Nine, actually. 
Welcome to this Ash Wednesday Mass here at St. Michael the Archangel Mayer. Great pleasure to welcome everybody. Today there is no penitential rite at the beginning of Mass because we all share in the distribution of ashes at the end. And so we go straight to our opening prayer. Let us pray. O God, who are moved by acts of humility, and respond with forgiveness to works of penance. Lend your merciful ear to our prayer, and in your kindness... Sorry, that's not the opening prayer. Well, it's the next know. one. <laughs> I'll start again. <laughs> the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Let us pray. <laughs> Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Reading from the book of Joel. Now, now, it is the Lord who speaks. Come back to me with all your heart, fasting, weeping, mourning. Let your hearts be broken, not your garments torn. Turn to the Lord your God again, for he is all tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in graciousness, and ready to relent. Who knows if he will not turn again, will not relent? will not leave a blessing as he passes. Oblation and libation for the Lord your God. Sound the trumpet in Zion. Order a fast to proclaim a solemn assembly. Call the people together and summon their community. Assemble the elders. Gather the children, even the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his bedroom and the bride her alcove. Between vestibule and altar, let the priests and ministers of the Lord lament. Let them say, Spare your people, Lord. Do not make your heritage a thing of shame, a byword for the nations. Why should it be said among the nations, Where is their God? Then the Lord, jealous on behalf of his land, took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offence, to wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned. My offences truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervour sustain me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Have mercy on us, O Lord. We are ambassadors for Christ. It is as though God were appealing for us. And the appeal that we make in Christ's name is, 
be reconciled to God. For our sake God made the sinless one into sin, so that in him we might become the goodness of God. As his fellow workers, we beg you once again not to neglect the grace of God that you have received. For he says, at the favourable time, I have listened to you. On the day of salvation, I came to your help. For now is the favourable time. This is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Appear heart to great for me, O God, God to give give again, again the joy of your help. Praise to you, O Christ, King, King of eternal glory. <coughs> The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Oh, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be careful not to parade your good deeds before men to attract their notice. By doing this, you will lose all reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give alms, do not have it trumpeted before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win men's admiration. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you give alms, let your left hand must not know what your right hand is doing. Your almsgiving must be in secret, and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. They love to say their prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see them. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you pray, go to your private room, and when you shut your door, pray to your Father who is in that secret place, and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. When you fast, do not put on a gloomy look as the hypocrites do. They pull long faces to let men know they are fasting. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that no one will know you are fasting except your Father, who sees all that is done in secret. And your Father, who sees all that is done in secret, will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. The homily is printed on the back of the service sheets. Please do take it home and read it. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly ask God our Father that he be pleased to bless with the abundance of his grace these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence. O God, who desire not the death of sinners but their conversion, mercifully hear our prayers and in your kindness be pleased to bless these ashes which we intend to receive upon our heads that we who acknowledge we are but ashes shall return to dust, may through a steadfast observance of Lent gain pardon for sins and newness of life after the likeness of your risen Son, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. 
may in humble spirit and contrite heart may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we solemn offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleanse from our sins may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Michael our patron and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy you may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. For Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <coughs> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. He who ponders the law of the Lord, day and night, will be free to use his
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Always through Lent there is a prayer over the people before the final blessing. So there he is the first. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Pour out a spirit of compunction, O God, on those who bow before your majesty. And by your mercy, may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. O God, who will move by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance, lend your merciful ear to our prayers, and in your kindness pour out your grace on your servants who are marked with these ashes, that as they follow the Lenten observances, they may be worthy to come with minds made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember that you are but dust, and to dust you shall return. 